Hey y'all, welcome back to my second um, speed build, yay! Uh, thank you for the lovely replies and comments and DMs and stuff on my last video, I really appreciate it. Um, if you like this build, uh, consider subscribing and liking the video and leaving a comment. I forgot to say all that YouTube stuff in the last one. I am obviously very new at this. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I'm building with round rooms again. Apparently I felt like torturing myself. I've left the majority of this struggle in because... I don't know, I think it's interesting to see other people trying to make it work. Um, as you can see, I in the, in the thumbnail and in the title, I'm making a mushroom house. And I've made a mushroom house before. I'll insert a photo of my old build somewhere here. Um, and I wanted to try and recreate that with round rooms because I thought it would be way cooler now that we actually have round rooms. But then the struggle of round rooms come, comes in again. Um, I already knew that a ladder in the smallest round room wouldn't work so I placed it on the outside and I'm gonna make like a little hallway that has the um, stairs in it and, it and it works really well and it's like a functional home at the end but here comes my biggest pet peeves with the round walls I wanted to make extra rooms uh, like a little hallway and and you know a section of a bathroom stuff like that but it wouldn't let me complete a room. Like you can see, I can build three of the walls and can't finish it for some reason. I've not had this problem since, and I don't know why this build <laughs> gave me such a hard time. It's, I'm gonna figure it out in the end by just placing uh, one wall and, and moving it to the place I um, want to put it. I don't know if that's a good explanation, you'll see it later. Like here, there, you see, that's that's what I meant. And so now I have created a little hallway. I don't know why, it should all work fine. I don't know if it was because it was up high and there was nothing underneath it. I don't know what the problem was, but I'm glad I got it to work in the end because the build turns out kind of cute and I really like it. Um, another problem I did have with this build, and you'll probably uh, start noticing that once we start um, furnishing the big mushroom, the camera kept dropping down. It was just the most <laughs> annoying thing. It's because I'm up two stories and I put the like stem of the mushroom on the uh, tallest wall height, so it was just... The camera thought we were up way high and because it's like basically a little floating circle on top of a smaller circle the camera kept dropping down like there was no floor there and it, oh, it was just the most annoying thing but okay I'll, I'll get back to actually building and not uh, moaning about um, what's wrong with the sims 4 because i love it and i don't want to moan about it but as you can see, I just made it into a little mushroom. I used the Nifty Knitting yarn balls to do that. It's, they, they just look like little mushroom spots and because you can size them up in different shapes, it, it looks really cute, I think. For windows, I wasn't really sure, but I went with this base game window so, just so that there's light all around, but it's not... Um, you know, on the on the round rooms, you can't place too big a window because it will just clip through or become black or look weird. I thought this was a good solution for that. I'm placing down some furniture now that's not going to stay. It's just so I have an idea of what I'm thinking for each room. I didn't build this all in one session. It took up a couple of sessions and I just wanted to, you know, remember what my plans were. I was trying to look for a good red door. I end up using the cottage living door and it's not as red as I would like to be, but it was like the aesthetic I was going for the most. So that's why I kept it in. The whole house is pretty much only um, uh, 
red and white. I just wanted to stick that mushroom theme throughout the whole building and it's gonna be oh see this is where the camera I'm really sorry some of the camera um, bopping up and down stays in we, we've removed as much as possible but it just happens so often that some of it I don't know it's, it's just I'm, I'm sorry uh, I'll, I'll not build this high again I guess <laughs> um, I hope it's not too much of a bother if, if it really makes you nauseous or something please skip this video it's fine don't, don't worry um, or just look at the or skip the the building of the higher bit like like up here I, I do try and keep my camera at an angle where it doesn't fall down but still sometimes it fell down so there wasn't really a lot I could do about that while building and in the edit we tried to remove as much as possible but you know some of it stays in um, but what I was trying to say is that I went for a real cottage reveal this is built on the Cordelia secret cottage uh, lot in Hanford on Bagley so the the world that came with cottage living and it's one of my favorite worlds and the cottage style is one of my favorite styles to build in I do however don't like the color red it's just a personal preference I think it looks good in this build and stuff but I never really use it for some reason but in this work build it just really worked because it really took that mushroom theme from the outside indoors I, I didn't fill the whole house up with mushrooms it's just a functional little cottage really up here um, but uh, I wanted to uh, like give it the a bit of that mushroom theme and I did that by just making it red and white mostly <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so yeah this is like the kitchen dining room because I had such trouble with making a hallway and making the the walls fit and everything I just basically used each section of the the home as a big room again I'm sorry for the ups and downs literally uh, but this is like a cute cozy little <coughs> kitchen dining I think it works it's 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 quite small but I think it's cozy I think it's nice and it's all fully play tested and it's all functional uh, I like tested out the little radio the little TV every chair every dining table chair like everything is fully functional so that's good um, and it's just cozy and cute I think it I think it works well in a, in a cottage type build like this <coughs> and then there are two bedrooms and one bathroom and the bathroom is huge compared to especially if you compare it to this living uh, room kitchen because it's basically the same size but because of the limitation with round rooms this was my solution for that I guess you could say I start I always start off all my builds with fully white walls uh, and then if I feel like it needs something more I'll I'll add more color and I'm gonna end up giving every one of these rooms a lot of extra color they're all gonna have like r red or reddish wallpapers um, so it's not gonna stay as white as, as it is now it's quite cluttered and pretty full I think especially with the wallpapers but I think it works um, I quite like more cluttered and full builds anyway so I I'm not like a clutter queen by any uh, stretch of the imagination but I do like like the maximalist kid had my name written all over it you know that's my my jam I really like that and I'm gonna use some of the wallpapers in here as well I think in the bedroom the the the, the main bedroom I think I use um, the maximalist kid the what's it called the core to the max kid I use one of their wallpapers in there I'm trying to like make the living room a bit more cluttered a bit more full a bit more lived in I guess you could say it's not really cluttered it's just 
it's clear that someone lives in here. I, I like that in my builds. I hope you do too. Um, right now the walls are still white, but I think I'm going to first do some of the other rooms and then go back and change it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, this is the little hallway. At first I had the whole big hallway as uh, like, but it, it counts as an outside space because of the stairway going in, the, the ladder going in, I should say. And I don't like that in my builds. Like if it's raining, then they can't stay in or no, not raining. What's it called? Uh, thunder. When there's like thunder and they get scared, they won't go into the hallway. Uh, the lighting is off, so that's why I sectioned off the little uh, ladder bit like that. I think it works really well. It gives it a nice little hallway. Another thing I could clutter up. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I put a little yellow um, hutch in there. I know that doesn't match. I'm, I'm well aware. Everything is like white and red and then there's a yellow hutch. I liked that little pop of color and it did inspire me to make the kids room have a little yellow in there as well. So the hutch is like a little nod to the kids room having more yellow in it as well. But first I'm going to do the main bedroom. I'm using the Vincent van Gogh bed. I love that bed. It's one of my favorite, especially base game beds. All the base game beds are so yeah, terrible, I should say, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But this one I really love. I'm not a big fan of the other swatches. I mostly just love the plain red like it is in the painting. But uh, yeah, it, it worked like perfect for this build because it's the most cottagey red type bed we have. So yeah, I super love that. Um, while going through the wardrobes, I saw some that might work in the kids room so I put them over there and this room was again quite big because I was stuck with the limitations of the round rooms so I just put a little just a cute little seating area like the living room isn't that big so if the parents or parent wants to have a little quiet time a little alone time they can just sit in in the in their bedroom and just be away from the kids for a sec I I think that makes sense uh, in a build like this. And yeah, this is where I used to the decor to the max wallpaper. Um, I really like it. <laughs> oh, did I not use it? Wait, no, I went back to it. Yeah, I changed it a couple times. I was a bit indecisive, but I went back to this one because it felt the most still cottagey. Other ones felt a bit too like fancy I guess you could say but this felt still a bit cottagey and I, I just chucked a whole bunch of plants in there because I feel like a cottage needs lots and lots of plants so that's obviously they're all in here again the the plant kid had my name written all over it as well <laughs> and I always start out my builds with white walls and with the big um, saucer lights uh, and then I change it up if I feel like I get oh I'm sorry we left in quite a bit more camera tumbles in here I apologize it was it was the absolute worst while building it and it's the absolute absolute worst in this speed build it was just what a nightmare you know I I think it's because the camera thought there was nothing underneath even though there was I was building a house but yeah I made it work in the end while building and I hope it's okay um, in the speed build I know it is very annoying and I apologize just yeah but now we're on to the kids room and I tried to find as many like red uh, toys and stuff to put in um, because I wanted to keep with that team theme of the red and white but as you can see I put some yellow chairs in there and I think I'm gonna give them yellow either wallpaper or curtains I'm not sure which one I went with but the the kids room is like red white and a bit of yellow 
just to give it some more color like most kids rooms have some more color than than uh, the other rooms I, I went for this cottage living wallpapers yeah so then I gave them yellow curtains I think Oh, and this is see this is when I decided the the living room was too bright and needed some some more red and some yeah more live in it I don't know if that's an English word you could say needed some more live in it no I don't think it is but I just wanted it to feel a bit more cozy and cute so that's why I put a wallpaper in there <laughs> and I went on to the bathroom only then to realize that I forgot the lighting and the curtains in the kid room. So <laughs> I went back to fix that up. Um, the kids room is also fully functional. All the toys work, all the skill building items work. They've got quite a lot. And yeah, it's got a bunk bed, so you can put two kids in there. You could obviously change it out if you have like toddlers or something, but I made it a kids room because toddlers can't climb the ladder. So if you have toddlers in this house, they'll be stuck up there forever. <laughs> well, not forever, until they grow up, obviously. But I don't know, that felt kind of cruel. So I um, I made it into a kid's room or a teen's room. But then you'd have to swap out a lot of the toys for skill building items. And this is, as I said, the massive bathroom. It doesn't really make a lot of sense for the size of this home to have this big a bathroom but yeah it just worked out that way and I, I made it tr try and look like like it did make sense like tie it in with the rest of the the house with the color scheme and everything and yeah I gave them a shower and a bathtub separate because why not double sinks you know they've they've got the room for everything so why not give it to them and I think it turns out quite cozy for being so big, but that's like the plus of the round rooms. They they have a cozy feel immediately, you know, that's that's why I use them so much because they do work really well. They just look so cute. And especially now with this mushroom, like it, it looks more like a mushroom now that the, the room is is, uh, is round, you know, it's it's cute. I like it a lot. Um, quite proud of this build if I can say that about myself and up here is the the big mushroom and then downstairs I'm gonna build another smaller mushroom uh, in this one and that's gonna be like a little shed just skill buildings items gardening lots of stuff I do run into some problems there as well because of course it's also a round room so of course there's problems there as well but um, I find out in the end I'll, and I'll let you know the things to look out for when you're building with round rooms because oh boy they can be so tricky they are so beautiful once you get them working and I'm really happy we have them but it's like a little fiddly still to to find out what you can and cannot do with them I also think because I um, like cheated the the walls a bit in this big mushroom that it might um, not all count as as the actual rooms so if you do like auto lights or something it might not count as separate rooms because I, I just placed walls in there I hope any of this makes sense um, oh yeah I did I couldn't really use the the stem of the big mushroom but I put a juice fizzing station in, down at the complete bottom I thought it would be nice to have that be a little functional as well like it's it's mostly there for the aesthetic of the mushroom and to have something for the ladder to go up against but I, th I think this works I put the the juice fizzing station in there but also the little um, a decoration box from seasons like you always need to have that in your builds if you have seasons for certain decorations and I uh, I put it in here so it's tucked out of the way but still easily accessible if you have a holiday that you want to uh, decorate for so this is a smaller um, mushroom 
and I, I use the same trick. I'm just doing the, the nifty knitting yarn ball there as well. I think it works really well. I think it looks really cute. Um, and then this is going to be a little yeah, shed slash skill building room. It's, it's a bit of both. And like I said, I did run into some trouble here. And that's because I'm going to build a pond all around the, the mushrooms. And that was a mistake. <laughs> it looks beautiful and I wanted it to look like just cozy and, and like it's all tucked away in nature. And I do put some big mushrooms around the build as well to like enhance that mushroom feeling. But um, yeah, that pond, oh, that gave me some trouble. Because like you can see I'm, I'm building a little bathroom in the shed as well because I didn't want my sims to have to go up to the, the big mushroom home if they uh, have to use the toilet. So I gave them a little toilet down here, like that's plenty of space, so why not? And then the rest of the shed is the skill building items. But uh, when I came to playtesting this, oh, uh, yeah, I've not made the pond yet. So right now it's all fully functional, but because I, I'll make the pond in a bit, I don't know why. And I've not had this happen in other builds. So I don't know if this mushroom build was like cursed or if it was just a bad week for round walls or whatever. Ever, but none of the items at the edge of the shed were working when I came to play test this build and I couldn't for the life of me figure out what it was I've already hinted at it it was the pond but it didn't make any sense like I could walk in but I couldn't use the bathroom I could use the planters in the middle but I couldn't use the planters at the sides super weird made no sense at all well I'm getting pretty close to building the pond what happened was because I used the terrain tools to lower the terrain so I could make a pond the room thought there was no floor underneath it I don't know why because there is flooring there. The round room has its own flooring. It should work completely. But it thought that the flooring was too low. So what I ended up having to do to make the skill building shed functional was raise the terrain all around the room again. So right now you can see how it's... Um, like exposed, I thought that looked cute. You know, you can see the foundation, the water is there. It's cute. But but Sim said no. <laughs> so I had to raise that and then it was fully functional. But it was such a pain. I think I was like maybe 50 minutes of me in like real time trying to figure out what the heck was happening and how I could fix it. And nothing seemed to work. Until I figured, well, I did something with the terrain. Could that be it? Like I was getting desperate and trying everything. And then that ended up being the thing that was the problem. I still don't know why I've not had the same problem since with round, wa round walls. But that was it. I just had to raise the terrain a little and then it was functional. <sighs> Let me know if you've had the same problem with round rooms or if this was like a fluke in my game I have no idea what happened but yeah anyway we're on to uh, landscaping right now I'm using mostly uh, cottage living debug I love the cottage living debug I never knew about debug until I started watching youtubers it's like this hidden gem within the game if you're a builder and especially cottage living has such beautiful plants and I don't understand why they were um, not just in the regular catalog because they are stunning but yeah oh right <laughs> here at first this was me after playtesting and you can see my sim go could go into the room but couldn't use the bathroom so it, it was like this weird thing but I tried to remove the door make it 
all open but in the end I got it working and this is after I figured all that out and now I'm just like cluttering it up making it cute it's got quite a few skill building items in it I like adding skill building items in my rooms because well you know the loading screens are a pain I don't want to go to a different lot every time I want to like garden or or work on the handiness skill or whatever and I made it look like a proper shed with like bits and bobs everywhere and uh, because I play tested it it comes with some pre-planted I think flowers mostly it, you can just throw those away if you don't want them but you know it's handy and I put the <coughs> excuse me the garden pots all inside of the shed so if you have seasons installed like I have you won't have a pain with plants going out of season and then not uh, blooming anymore or flowering anymore. And I'm just cluttering up mostly the walls so it looks a bit more cozy and lived in and yeah I thought it was it was cute. Oof. Okay yeah I, th I think yeah. Oh, oh I, I was gonna say I think there was one more thing but no that was it that was my little mushroom build um y'all this was my second video i'm still getting used to this um talking into the microphone <laughs> and um and editing and stuff i really do apologize for the camera drops we we got them down to like only two or three which i'm quite proud of because there were a bajillion but i hope they weren't too annoying and i hope you like the build if you do, you can find it in the gallery under my username, which is Nubu Nika, the same as my YouTube channel. Um, please like, subscribe, do all the, the good YouTube stuff. If you like my video, maybe share it with a friend um, so more people can find me. I would really appreciate that. Um, we're on to the screenshots now. And I included some screenshots of bunnies because I added quite a few bunny houses and the bird tree stumps because they are the absolute best thing that came with cottage living and I love the little bunnies to the absolute heavens they are so fucking cute I adore them and I love interacting with them in game so I, I had to include them in this cottage type build and had to include them in the screenshots as well obviously so yeah i hope you enjoyed please let me know what you thought leave a comment or send me a dm on instagram uh, i love interacting with everybody and and hearing what you will think i'm still quite nervous about this whole endeavor so some some feedback is is much much appreciated but I, I hope you love this build as much as I do and yeah enjoy the last little slivers of, of bunny screenshots oh there's there's the one of the birds I, I also put swans and and ducks in there as well yeah there they are oh aren't they adorable just the absolute best little addition to the game I squealed when I saw bunnies look at this little man okay that was it. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.